Hello people, GNM Police Matter here. Today I'm going to show you how to flash uh, enhanced 236 to your Samsung Galaxy Geo. Uh, first of all, you're going to need a custom recovery. Uh, I have a video on how to install CWM to your um, Galaxy Geo. First of all, I want you to remove, uh, I'm telling you, you can remove the SIM card, and I will, because 3G connectivity is enabled by default and I don't want to spend any money. So, let's boot it up in recovery mode after you installed uh, CWM by holding, in this case, power and home. Now, uh, I don't know if you will have to do this, but uh, if you can't click anything, you must cycle through this until it says back menu key enabled. Now, first of all, uh, you won't need to wipe anything because this does and does it for you. I'm just going to wipe Dalvik cache. I don't know if the installer does it for you. This ROM uses um, Aroma installer, so this is what it will look like. First of all, make uh, an Android backup. Uh, now, let me see. Enhanced 3236. Choose a zip to apply. Just select it. And then, yes. Install Enhanced 236. It will say Starting Aroma Installer. Enhanced 236. A graphical interface. I'm going to choose My UI theme. Now, uh, you are about to install Enhanced. 236 to Samsung Galaxy Geo uh, version, well, I don't care. Uh, next, this is this disclaim disclaimer. Now, change log. Damn, now it will prompt you with some options file manager, system information, reboot, and exit. And I'm going to click install. Now I'm going to select custom installation. I'm going to select Fies, Fiex kernel, uh, Android boot animation, Ubuntu font, font, a standard and dimming here. Now next, apps. I don't want Gmail, Maps, Google Talk, All Share, or Think Free just going to install now click install now now if you have any other partition than uh, file system than a ext4 do this it's mandatory it's mandatory if you have xt4 well do this if you didn't wipe anything I'm going to do it because I didn't wipe anything now it will say formatting and wiping and all of that meanwhile I'm here in my computer So uh, I'm going to continue when it's done. All right, it's almost done. Now it said it's the just a log of what it did. Now type next and congratulations. I'm going to select it so it will reboot. Let's go. It will reboot the device and hopefully boot into Enhanced 236, which comes with an overclock app. I only managed to get mine to 998 megahertz though. I wanted to get to 1 gigahertz so I can uh, so I could play Minecraft Pocket Edition, but I guess I'll have to uh, keep my other device. I'll continue when it boots. I'm back. It's booting. It will wait. Will take a while though. Uh, I'll continue when it's finally booted. It's finally booted. Let's. Uh, Let's boot. It's boot. It boot finally. Um, I don't want any location. So you see, it looks like the original stock ROM. However, as you see, this is different. As you see, data is enabled by default. Uh, this reminds you of Samsung Galaxy S2 ROMs, uh, but one big difference from any stock ROM. 
as you see it has much more many more options shut down reboot sleep next play pause previous flashlight which does this lock screen timeout brightness and all of that only one problem though sometimes it won't recognize the SD card I hope it does if it does not you just take it out and reinsert it this was it for today people like please like and subscribe to the video goodbye